Yeah, and if you find the monoliths too. Then you can read it. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even talk about that before, but that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm a pirate. Yeah. Yeah, like you can try it, but yeah, you might have this gun that could blow up and destroy you in the corner of the planet, but you know, yeah, it could be a muffin button. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? If the game hit like some outrageous number for damage and just straight up destroyed the planet for you. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the technology one. I think I'm gonna become a trader on on the game. I don't think I'm gonna go for a fighter ship right away. Uh, like a trader, not a trade tour. Like I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna betray somebody first thing. Yeah, but yeah, and the fact that everything's procedurally generated. So, like, the language could be different and shit. Yeah, I don't know, I haven't read anything about that, but I would really look forward to that if it was possible. Uh, they better. It'd be cool to have something like you start in the same galaxy, maybe, and then they just kind of make it an adventure for you to find each other the first time, or. Cause then. Yeah. Because I mean, it'd be really cool to have like a small moon somewhere. Like I put a small moon in every galaxy or whatever, so you always have like a vantage point to find your friends. That'll help me broadside. An enemy has been slain. <clears throat> An enemy has been slain. Yeah. Arr! Yeah, that game is gonna Seriously, destroy lives. That is going to be awesome. Yeah, the Uncharted 4 multiplayer page doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Okay. I'll save me some. I don't know how much space I have. I gotta. I'm picking up the division tonight when it comes out. Check. Oh really? Killing spree. Yeah, he says No Man's Sky is a perfect, perfect fit for virtual reality. <clears throat> that must have been these guys that, uh... Yeah, I think it was the six axis guys. Watch the video. But yeah, uh, one of the guys that was saying like when he was in hyperdrive all of a sudden he ran out of fuel and they like dropped him in the middle of the universe and he was able to actually find asteroids and destroy the asteroids to get more fuel for his ship yeah 
And you can actually fly to other stars, but it takes you like hours to get there. An ally has been slain. And it just basically acts like a yeah, like a literal hyperdrive, I guess. But then there was another one where a guy said that when you're on the planet, you just hold R2 to like get in the ship and fly up and take out and like fly. And uh, then he said you had to hit circle to get a really big like supersonic speed boost, and that was the only way you could actually get off some planets or the planet, I guess. Like it keeps you in the atmosphere. Yeah. So every planet actually has gravity, and fucking, yeah, and, uh, that's actually amazing because those are every one of the features I loved about audio, like that game is like, basically two-dimensional No Man's Sky, like to a T at this point, but it's all because I'm wondering, like, there's some of the planets on here are uh, spinning really fast and they have really bad storms constantly. I wonder if that's how it's going to be, but it's really weird and disorienting to see the fucking... It's just like, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, like... The days last like, one second. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to beat No Man's Sky. I don't know why so many people are complaining about the fucking price. I'd pay way more for that game if it was more. Cause I mean, 60 bucks is... You're gonna pay that much for a fucking Ubisoft game that's never gonna work. curious though if you can like land on the sun or not like if you could make oh yeah that was one thing I really liked about the uh, the way that they're doing the creating the uh, the upgrades that you can get being like its own periodic table you can fucking make like you can mix and match everything basically it's there's science to it ah uh, so you can like soup up your ship only or something so you just want to go visiting places then you can probably do a lot more than like some people will be just depending on like the planets like what you find and how much I'm flying right into the sun. We'll play some Rocket League or something.
Oh my god, it's the sign! Yes! <clears throat> what a pain in the ass. It fly like I was floating around this level that's huge and that's got a huge asteroid field with thousands of little asteroids. And there's this one little flag floating around and if you find the flag then you basically instantly win the level. And it's like I've gotten it in the level before, I wasn't sure if it was just locked, but I think it might always be there, I just never really see it. But, yeah, one thing I'm kind of glad that they don't take from Adios is the gravity system. Because some planets are like spinning super fast and they don't have very good gravity and then I get hit by something that fucking extreme speed because the wind gusts are like 200 miles an hour. I uh, get launched off the planet. Watch your step. That wall will be sliced in this. this. My earth ends. Watch the flame. Watch your step. You're all fucking rampage. You have slain an enemy. That's cool. The heat bears down upon you. You have slain an enemy. I noticed in some in some of the levels on No Man's Sky, or not levels, but uh, the videos I've seen that they had, there's only been a couple times when the ship actually burst into like a fireball as they're entering the atmosphere. But I think it might be a lot like how Adios is with the, uh, what the fuck? With the, um, <coughs> Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> 